Again, here we have the market for loanable funds and the demand and the supply. Demand comes from domestic investment plus NCO, and the supply comes from national savings. So again, now if the government runs a surplus, which means that they spend less than what they collect in tax revenues, then that means that that's going to affect the supply of vulnerable funds, right? Because the supply has two components, private and public savings. Savings from households, savings from government. So if the savings from government increase, from the government increases, then that's going to shift the supply of loanable funds to the right. So we're going to have a shift to the right. So here was our initial interest rate, and now the interest rate is going to decrease. We're going to see a decrease in the real interest rate, which is going to give us a new point in the net capital outflow line, which in turn is going to shift the supply in the foreign currency exchange market. Okay, And we're going to have a new intersection between the supply and demand here, and it's going to be at a lower exchange rate, real exchange rate. Here we have that the currency depreciated, right? So we have a lower point in the exchange rate, so the currency depreciated, right? So again, um, a budget surplus, the first thing that happens is that the supply of loanable funds will shift to the right. So that is going to decrease the real interest rate. And that is going to then increase net capital outflow. Right, so we're going to have that net capital outflow, if this is point A to point B, is going to increase, which means that capital will flow out of the country, right? Because a lower interest rate will create an incentive to want to, it's for domestic residents to want to invest in foreign assets. So it's going to increase NCO. That increase in net capital outflow is going to shift the supply in the foreign currency exchange, foreign currency, currency market to the right. And that is going to depreciate the dollar. Okay, so that's a budget surplus. In the case of a of capital flight, you're gonna have the same market for loanable funds. NCO. Exchange. Uh, let's see. This is from NX. This is from NCO. This is the real exchange. Not uh, the real exchange rate. This is the real interest rate. This is the real interest rate. This is the quantity of funds. NCO on the x-axis and quantity of dollars. Okay, so 
if there is a case of capital flight where the capital is flowing outside of the country, right? It's leaving the country. And this could be to political instability, to some phenomenon that is causing people to rapidly take their money out of the country or take their capital investments out of the country. So it's going to shift NCO to the right. It's going to cause a shift to the right. Of course, these investments are going to be financed, right? So here we have I plus NCO, right? So that's going to, this capital flight, we we're going to want to finance this somehow, right? We're going to demand funds in the market for local funds. So that's going to shift Right, which increases the interest rate. So it's going to shift the demand of loanable funds, which is going to increase the interest rate. And at the new NCO, we're going to look for the supply of foreign currency exchange. And we'll see that the currency will depreciate. Right, So this is depreciation of the currency because of capital flight.